Hey guys, kumusta? For anything else, I wish na nasa mabuti kayong kalagayan now that we are experiencing this COVID-19 pandemic. So, bakit ko naisipang gumawa ng ice cream for my first vlog? Well, una, nagkikrave kasi ako ng ice cream at hindi ko makita sa supermarket yung mga ice cream flavors na gusto ko. Pangalawa, summer naman ngayon, sobrang init, so sobrang nakaka-refresh kung ice cream yung kakainin natin for merienda. And pangatlo, I really love ice cream. I can still remember during my college days, nire-replace ko yung isang meal ko, imbes na kanin at, kanin at ulam, kainin ko ay isang tub ng ice cream. So, ganun ako ka-addict sa ice cream before. Ngayon, hindi na ako gaano hilig sa ice cream, but I still crave for ice cream from time to time. So, for the first part ng ating uh, video, I will be um, showing to you kung paano gagawin yung base ice cream. Later on, sa part 2 ng ating video, papakita ko naman sa inyo yung mga flavors na idadagdag ko para ma-elevate yung ating vanilla ice cream. Actually, yung gagawin ko is something in between ice cream and gelato. Kasi pag sinabi natin ice cream, it contains half and half. Meaning, half milk and half cream. And usually, ice cream, nilalagyan siya ng eggs. Whereas, yung gelato, most often, wala siyang itlog. Tapos, hindi 50-50 yung proportion ng milk and cream. So, yung gagawin ko for today, wala siyang ice, ah, wala siyang egg rather. So, uh, hindi siya magka-qualify technically as ice cream pero ang proportion ng milk and cream na gagamitin ko is almost half and half so magka-qualify naman siya as ice cream so whatever you would like to call it pag gagawin niyo na ako siguro I'll just call it ice cream para mas generic and yung gagawin natin na ice cream ngayon is no churn ice cream so when we say no churn ice cream meaning hindi natin siya gagamitan ng ice cream maker or ice cream machine so what I'll be using is just a simple electric mixer. So kung wala kayo electric mixer, pwede naman din gumamit ng wire whisk. Although, using a wire whisk, medyo magbibuild kayo ng biceps after yung gawin ng ice cream kasi it will take much longer time for you to achieve yung um, pag, uh, pagiging stiff ng heavy cream. So, I prefer using an electric mixer para mas mabilis yung ating process. So, yung ating simple ice cream is just made up of three ingredients na common and available sa supermarket. The first one being yung ating whipping cream or heavy cream. Um, I don't really encourage you to use yung all-purpose cream kasi mas less dense siya compared dito sa um, mga cream ang nakalagay talaga sa box uh, or packaging ay whipping cream or heavy cream. Pero pwede na rin naman yung all-purpose cream although hindi mo ma-achieve yung uh, thickness na gusto mo um, compared to when you will use this particular kind of cream. Also, we need condensed milk. Yung third and last ingredient natin for the base ice cream would be the vanilla flavor. So, para magkaroon tayo ng vanilla ice cream. So, let's start. So, unahin ko muna itong condensed milk. We need 14 ounces of this one. So, that's 14 ounces of condensed milk. Followed by one teaspoon lang nito vanilla extra. Where did I say? Did I say one? It's one fourth. One fourth teaspoon. Kami tinan natin muna siya ng water whisk. Tagal lang mag-combine yung milk and yung vanilla. Actually, first time kong gagawa ng, ano, ng 
homemade ice cream. So, kung papalpak tayo mamaya, i-document ko pa rin naman siya at ipapapanood ko pa rin naman sa inyo. Pero sana maging successful. So, set aside ko muna itong mixture natin. And for the meantime, what I'll be doing is i-whip ko yung ating heavy cream. We need 2 cups of uh, our heavy cream. And I will whip it for about three or four minutes on medium setting, until it forms a stiff peak. Yung ating cream, and that's when it will be ready na ihalo don sa ating condensed milk mixture kanina. Ayan. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ayan siya. So, medyo dense na siya. And kapag pinangat ko siya, nakikreate siya ng mga peaks. So, this should be ready. So, ikokombine natin ito ngayon with the condensed milk mixture. Taktak natin sa ayun. Sa ayun. So, next, We'll fold in the condensed milk and vanilla mixture dun sa ating um, heavy cream. So, dahan dahan lang. So, I'll mix in first siguro mga around one third of the mixture. I'll mix in again a part of the condensed milk. So, yung consistency ngayon na na-achieve ko is something like uh, melted ice cream. So, hopefully, panag-set ito mamaya sa fridge, sa freezer rather, ay maging uh, as consistent siya as uh, ice cream that's already frozen enough. Alright. I think we're done. With this part, so let's move on to the second part, which is you adding of flavors. Then adding ice cream to elevate it. Na isip ko blueberry cheesecake dahil isa itong timeless cake flavor na masarap ding gawing ice cream. Kakailanganin lang natin ng blueberry filling, cream cheese or cream cheese spread, at golden Oreos or pwede din namang graham crackers. Ilagay lang sa isang container ang mga ingredients layer by layer starting with the cream. Nasa sa iyo kung gaano karaming mix-ins ang ilalagay mo para ma-emphasize ang flavor na gusto mo. Bago ilagay sa freezer, iswear lang ingredients gamit ang kutsara o kaya ay kutsilyo. Ang Black Forest Ice Cream ay ang aking childhood favorite. Kakailanganin natin ang cherry filling. Pinagpira-piraso ang Tim Tam Choco Fingers at Chocolate Syrup. Gaya sa naunang procedure, ilagay ang mga ingredients layer by layer. Kung mayroon kayong metal loaf pan, mas mainam itong gamitin lalagyan dahil mas napapabilis ito ang freezing process. Gusto ko yung mga ice cream na may kasamang brownies kaya I'm doing this flavor. Para sa butterscotch and brownie ice cream, mag-prepare ng butterscotch bites, brownies na hiniwa na maliliit na piraso, at chocolate syrup. Pwede mo gawing mas maliliit ng piraso ng butterscotch and brownies para di masyado nakaka-distract pag kinain. Ang apat na flavor, doon naman tayo sa hindi gaano common. Lemon Basil Ice Cream Kailangan lang natin ng konting dahon ng basil para di masyadong matapang ang lasa at lemon juice. Kung ayaw niyo isamang basil leaves, pwede itong pakuluan at ihalo lamang ang extract. Huwag niyo ko tularan na, tinamad ako kaya dinretso kong pag-squeeze ng lemon juice sa ice cream. 
patituloy mo to sumama. Ang panghuling flavor ay ang ever refreshing na fudge mint. Gumamit ako ng fudge mint cookie sandwich, dark chocolate with mint, at green food color for visual effect. Maglagay ng green food color ng naayon sa gusto mong shade of green. Hindi na ako naglagay ng mint extract para super subtle lang ang mint flavor at hindi ka feeling kakatut brush after mo kainin ng ice cream. So lumipas na yung 24 hours and uh, matigas na yung ice cream. So titikman na natin sila isa-isa. So nito yung family ko ngayon, papatikil ko sa kanila yung ginawa kong ice cream. Try muna natin tong Blueberry cheesecake. Please judge. Mm, yummy. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Tommy, you like? You like? I don't like. Very nice. Okay. Sayang, masarap. This blueberry ice cream. Very nice. You like? Yeah. 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 Yummy, okay. yummy. Uh, tikman mo daw. I like it. Tikman mo na. That's a blueberry. Blueberry. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. Ano? Masarap hindi. How does it taste? Tommy, yeah. look at me. <laughs> Oh, yummy. yummy! Yay! So, kakain na din daw si ate ng ice cream. At ang napili niyang flavor ay ang... Ito. Butterscotch brownie. So, tie for her. So, itong <coughs> butterscotch brownie, isa sa mga ano, gusto kong flavors kasi. Gusto ko yung minangata ako pag kumakain ako ng ice cream. Parang naparami yata yung <laughs> puro butterscotch and brownies yung laman ng ice cream. para sobrahan. Ayun. So, at is gonna taste this. Bebe Bubu, let go of tita Ems muna. Magkitaste test muna Ay. siya. Libre lait. Kasi puro brownie tsaka <laughs> kasobrahan yata. So, kung saan naman yung texture tsaka yung lasa. Nasa naman siya ice cream. In fairness. Not bad for a first time ice cream maker. Yay! Pero napadami niya sa hug mo. Oo oh, nga. Sa hug niyo. Ano ba yun? Sinker pa? Yung mix in. Mm. Yan. Para gusto ko naman yung ming nyo. Ayoko nang wala eh. Ako din. Kaya gumawa ko niya yung flavor niya. Good. So titikman pa natin ngayon yung tatlong flavors. Unahin ko tong fudge mint. Hindi siya gano'ng matamis. Sakto lang yung lasa ng mint. Buti na lang, hindi ko siya nilagyan ng mint extract. Kasi yung mint na nanggagaling dun sa chocolate. Tsaka dun sa fudge cookie. Parang enough lang siya to give that refreshing mint flavor. So, pasado to. Siyempre ako may gawa kaya pasado. Next is my childhood favorite. Um, Black Forest. Medyo matamis, tsaka hindi masyado nag-penetrate yung lasa ng cherry feeling. Yun actually yung hinahanap ko. Kung makain ako ng Black Forest uh, ice cream, yung naghahalo ang lasa ng cherry and yung chocolate. Um, dito hindi ko siya na-achieve, although masarap pa rin siya as a chocolate ice cream. And last but not the least, ito hindi ko pa natikman before sa kahit sa, sa ang ice cream place na napuntahan ko. Although nakatingin na ako ng lemon ice cream, pero yung lemon basil ice cream, so ngayon ko pa lang siya itatry. Para sa akin, ito yung pinaka refreshing dun sa limang ice cream flavors na nagawa ko. Um, lasang lasa yung lemon, and may hint ng basil, so uh, yun, nakaka-happy actually. 
And parang ito yung favorite ko doon sa lima ang ginawa ko. Actually, medyo lasang parang nagdalasang cheesecake siya. Maybe because of the... Uh, tao dito. Yung reaction ng lemon dun sa cream. So, parang naging cream cheese yung lasa. So, share ko lang yung ilang takeaways ko uh, from this homemade ice cream project. Una, you don't have to buy ingredients sa supermarket if you want to elevate yung uh, basic na vanilla ice cream. So, all you, all you can do is all you have to do rather is to look for ingredients na available sa bahay. Like, for example, may extra kayong manga. So, pwede mo lang i-puree yung ripe mango and then add it to the vanilla ice cream mixture. So, meron ka ng fresh mango ice cream. So, you can explore other flavors na makikita mo sa bahay. So, hindi mo na kailangan gumastos other than the three uh, ingredients for the vanilla ice cream. Yung second na natutunan ko is hindi pala lalambot yung cookies kapag nahalo do sa cream. So, um, one thing that you can do para ma-achieve mo yung soft texture ng cookie bago mo siya ilagay sa ice cream is ilagay mo sa microwave oven. Uh, init, initin mo sa microwave oven yung uh, cookie para mag-soften siya before you add it to the vanilla ice cream mixture. Tapos, yung pangatlo naman is Although na-achieve ko yung gusto kong texture dun sa mismong ice cream, pero dun sa process ng paggawa ng aking vanilla ice cream, medyo napansin ko na na-overwhip ko yung mixture when I combine the heavy cream, yung na-whip na heavy cream, dun sa condensed milk. Nasobrahan ako sa halo. So what happened was medyo nag-sink ulit yung cream and hindi ko na-achieve yung texture na gusto ko while making the ice cream. And another factor, Kung bakit, kung bakit lumambot yung uh, cream is matagal siya bago na i-ref. Kasi nga, I had to make five different flavors. So, medyo nag-stay out of the fridge yung uh, cream ko for quite some time. So, may iwasan naman yun kung mabilis, medyo mabilis kang gumawa ng ice cream. So, mara-ref mo agad yung ginawa mong mixture. So, yun lang naman. And, um... I hope na na-inspire kayo to make your own versions of homemade ice cream and kindly share your recipes in the comment section below. And maraming salamat ulit sa panonood ninyo and see you on the next vlog.